Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, AED744. So today, guys, we do our All Classico 2024 preview. So how do I feel coming into this game? Let's start with the Real Madrid perspective first because they are the home team after all of this game. Real Madrid coming into this game in a high. They had just eliminated defending UCL champions Man City, and they're coming to this one in great, great form, you know. And my thing for Real Madrid is you have to give them kudos. You have to give them props because I know a lot of people, especially Barca fans, are not going to give them credit for what they did. But credit has to be given because defensively, they had a fantastic game plan. Defensively, they had a fantastic game plan. And remember, you have to be smart when you play against Man City. You can't play this end-to-end -end ball because whenever you do, you're going to get you're going to get destroyed. So Real Madrid, you have to give Don Carlo his credit, his kudos, and his flowers. And it's not like Real Madrid were super defensive. They had their moments to counterattack. And if they had plays if it had been more efficient in the final third, they could have won. And remember, they, they could have won this game in the first leg. They probably should have won the game in the first leg, you know? So for Real Madrid, I just think that for me, you can never ever write out this team. You can never, you can never do it, you know. And I think the key players for them tomorrow in this kind of game is going to be the likes of Vinicius. How is Vinicius going to do? You know, Bellingham. He had a good game against Man City for that first couple of minutes. He did kind of dip off through through the, the game, uh, but we'll see how he does. And then obviously Rodrigo is going to be very impactful. We know how good Rodrigo Vinicius are. Cruz Camavinga, Cruz Camavinga, Valverde. I mean, then Vasquez, Rudiger, Chiuameni, and Mendy, and Lunin. So Chiuameni being back is a huge positive for Real Madrid because he's been one of their best players. And I think I read the stat out there that Real Madrid haven't lost a game with Chiuameni starting. So it just shows how important he is to the team. And um, and yeah, credit to Real Madrid. Defensively, they're very amazing. Like, there's a reason why the, they are the, I think they have the best defense in La Liga, if I'm not mistaken. Right? As for Barcelona, we're coming to this game in a massive blow. We're coming to this game in a massive blow after being destroyed by PSG. Um, at home and psychologically the mentally there's been a falling out with the players Gundogan's called out some of the players in the dressing room uh Araujo apparently has not accepted full responsibility there's a dressing room conflict and everything so I don't know how Barcelona players are going to be coming into this massive game because we need them to be focused we need them to be at fully fully sharp because this is a massive game this is a huge game for us and remember this is the biggest game we have left of the season like, there is no other big game from this point on that's going to be this many more meaningful than this game, right? And this will be my brother, my last preview for our last preview for the Barca big game this season. Uh, why did it just change all of a sudden? That's very strange. Let me just refresh. Just refresh. Give me a few seconds, guys. I don't know why it just refresh all of a sudden on its own. Uh, but yeah, I mean, as I was saying, I think players that will be key for Barca are obviously going to be the likes of Yamal, uh, Rafinha, uh, Gundogan. And I want to see, because for me, if I'm Xavi, this might be a very controversial decision, and many Barca fans may not agree with me on this. I believe Rajo should be benched for this game. I think a Rajo should be benched because, I'm sorry, if you if we really want a Rajo to learn from his mistakes, you got to bench him. You have to be accountable, you know. And if you really want a Rajo to improve as a player, I think him being benched for this game is for the best. Will Xavi do that? I very much doubt it. Knowing how Xavi is, knowing how stubborn he is with his player choice, he usually doesn't make big, bold decisions like that. But if I was Xavi, I would do that, right? That's just me personally, you know. And I think for Barca, as we know, Real Madrid is going to be playing on the counterattack. That's the game plan, and Barca is going to be playing with the possession base. Now, we do have to keep in mind that Real Madrid is going to come into this game more fatigued. Obviously, they've played extra time at the Champions League, so... We do have to take advantage of the tired legs that Real Madrid may have at the first half, you know. So I wouldn't be surprised what happened in the game is that Real Madrid, this is pretty a slow game. And then after like the second half, Real Madrid starts to kick it up a gear, starts to kick it up a notch. So we need to take advantage of that first half. Because for me, if we allow Real Madrid to score in the second half, I think it's going to be very bad. I think Real Madrid will probably be able to see out the result. Now, if we score in the first half, like quick early goals, like to like the 10th or 20th minute, then I think we can get a result here. But I think the longer it stays nil-nil, the more I favor Real Madrid, just because I think Barcelona can get tired out as well. And I would imagine Don Carlos and then make those fresh substitutions, and they're going to give them more impact. And I think for Barca, as we know, this team, this team isn't like this team, this team needs an early goal for their confidence, you know, because I think the longer it stays nil-nil, the more it's going to de more it demoralize the team, more negatively impact the team. And I think the team is going to be more and more frustrated it's a difficult game it's a very difficult game to call and i am really hoping that Barca somehow win this because i'll be really honest with you we do have the players to win this and i think we can win this and like i said guys real madrid tends to barca tends to do better than real madrid at the burnabout but i just think that for real madrid i just think that for me 
they're don't call so smart with his tactics. But I will say this: this is one thing that gives me some confidence as a Barca fan. Real Madrid hasn't really been clinical in the final third. They haven't. And that is something that we can maybe exploit because if you have actually checked Real Madrid's recent games, they haven't really been scoring a lot of goals. You know, they scored one goal, I think, against Mallorca. They scored one goal against Manchester City and then obviously scored three goals against um, Manchester City. And even though they scored three, they probably should have scored more than three. So, and uh, like I said, guys, Barcelona defensively, we have been very sketchy. Defensively, we have not been great. So it's going to be a tough game to call. How do I see this game panning out? I'm going to say a 1-1 draw. I'm going to say one all draw. I really hope I'm wrong because I want us to win, but I just don't see it in us for us to win this game. I just feel like for me, Real Madrid is going to take a professional approach and uh, they're going to grind out a result. They're going to grind out a result. And for Barca, we're going to feel disappointed. Because remember, guys, Barca have to win this. If we don't win this game, La Liga is pretty much effectively almost over because we have seven games to go. Real Madrid has an eight-point lead. It would therefore, The lead would still stay the same. Now, if we win this game, we could only, we would be five points. And five points is amountable. We can actually win the league from five points. But eight points, it's going to be very difficult. And if Real Madrid wins, oh, God, if Real Madrid wins, we are. It's going to be really bad. 11 points, yeah, then it's pretty much over. So, and remember, Real Madrid did do win the uh, the Prickster at the Camp Nou early this, well, once a week stadium earlier this season. So, yeah, it's going to be very interesting to see what happens, man. So, uh, I'll, let me just give you guys my quick goal scores. I think Real Madrid, I have a feeling Vinicius is going to score um, in the second half. And I have a feeling that Barca will score. I have a feeling it's going to be... Who's going to score for Barca? I have a feeling it might be Joao Cancelo. I'm going to go to wild predictions and say Joao Cancelo. And yeah, I'm going to go Joao Cancelo and Vinicius. I'm going to go with those two players. I think Joao Cancelo will score in the first half. I think Vinicius will score in the second half. And I think Real Madrid... We'll be, we'll be able to see out the result. So, yeah, man. Uh, like I said, guys, I try to do this as non-biased as I possibly could. And I try to be as objective as I possibly could. So, let me know if there's any major talking points in the comments below. Because I'm prob I'm sure there probably is. So, please run a like and subscribe. And, yeah. I'll see you guys later, man. Peace out.